Doctor, I have, uh, I have a million questions, but I'll ask two. The first one is, since back when you started chiropractic, how, how did you choose a field that was totally unknown? How did I do what? How did you choose chiropractic when it was unknown so far back and unrecognized and despised? Oh, it wasn't all that unknown. I, I graduated in 1928. That means I went to college in 1926. Uh, I, I used to be a professional musician. I played uh, in dance bands. And I played on a boat in the Mississippi River. We docked at Davenport. And uh, I had a health problem. Uh, during the intermission, during the dance intermission, there were some students there from the college got to talking to me and I became interested in chiropractic so when the season was over I went back and enrolled in the college, entered the clinic and got on the staff of WOC which was the radio station there. and that's it. When I, by the time I was out of college I was cured and ready to tell the world about innate. Can I butt in? Hmm? Can I butt in? Sure. <laughs> he was walking on crutches at the time when he was playing as a musician, and he'd sit his crutches down and play in the band, and the students saw that and had him to come up to the clinic. So while he was playing in Davenport, he went to the clinic every day. And he seen what chiropractic, or felt what it was all going to be about. He went home, took all kind of odd jobs, so he got enough money to come back. And when he came back to Palmer, he worked busing dishes during the day, and he played in the band with Big Spider Beck's band, at night, and uh, Dr. Palmer says, Kirby was the cleanest looking kid in class. He had one pair of corduroy pants and a shirt, and he wore it every day, but on Saturday and Sundays and Friday nights when he played in the band, he was all dressed up in his tux. <laughs> he never tells the whole story of things. The other question I have is, your many years of practice, we went to school and we learned orthopedic, neurologicals, all these things. How do you, how do you assess a case now and, and what's your initial evaluation if a patient lays on a table? Do you consider the autonomic nervous system and think about these things and organ diseases? How do you, how do you evaluate a patient when they lay down on the table? I know you have a lot of experience and a lot of innate thinking. How do you go about it? How do I evaluate a How do you patient? evaluate the treatment of the patient with all your years of experience? You pal? Uh, I guess what you mean, what do I do yeah. with my sick people? Right. <laughs> Well, the doctor means well, and I, I know what he's, I know where he's coming from. Uh, it's, it's no great secret. I, I get my patient's history, and I determine their subluxations, and start adjusting them. And that's, that's it. If, they, if, if, I, if I talk right and if uh, I do my job good, they stay with me and get well. But of course I fail on some. I, I fail to convince them of the true value of uh, correcting nerve root pressures and depending on the recu recuperative powers of the body 
to, to get them well.